Welcome back to more Pokemon Pearl, everybody. In the last episode, we made it here to Stark Mountain, and we actually explored most of it, to be honest. We have three double battles left to go here, plus a battle against a legendary Pokemon. Hintain spoilers. But yeah, you know. So, here we got this Drapion and this Larvitar. Alright, well then, you know. You know. As usual, I mean, Larvitar is actually really cool. Um, it becomes Tyranitar in the third stage, and it is freaking amazing. Um, Tyranitar used to be used in a combo alongside Garchomp. That was just so fucking bullshit. Uh, way back in the, you know, the... Um, you know, just like the competitive Pokemon battling um, levels and all that going on in Gen 4 and even going into Gen 5, um, the Garchomp Tyranitar combo and Double Battle was just, it could not be defeated. Um, they're both fantastic Pokemon, obviously, in terms of stats. Um, Tyranitar has Sandstream, which whips up Sandstorm. Garchomp has the, what the fuck is it? Is it Sand? I forgot what it's called, Sandvale, I think it's Sandvale, yeah, Sandvale, um, and yeah, it's just, it was very difficult, extremely difficult to get through. Here's a Macargo that's, oh my god, you're gonna get roasted by the Surf, like, it's not even funny. This thing is a times four weakness to water. Like, I'm just saying, I'm just saying it's a time four weakness, you know, like, that's crazy. Alright, so how many Pokemon? We're in here. I didn't even see, to be honest. Oh, that's it? Okay. So we have two battles left. Two um, double battles left. Which is actually pretty damn good. Uh, we're going to make good progress here and get on to the, the very last section of the game, I guess, in this episode. I don't know. We got Overheat. TM50 Overheat. Pretty nice. Alright, uh, then we're going to go ahead and get the hell out of here. We're not going through that pathway. But instead, we're going to run around... Whoops, I didn't mean to walk one step there, I accidentally did. Hey, it saved a step for the Max Repel, though. <laughs> it's pretty cool, right? Alright, so we're gonna run the- wait, I think I ran the wrong way. Fuck, I ran the wrong way. Alright, it's like this, then you go up here, then you run up, then you turn a sharp left, then you go up. Sorry, I missed that. Uh, okay, so here's a useless double battle. You never really have to go here because, as you can see, um... Or at least when you have Buck, it's pointless because it just leads to a freaking rock line area and there's nothing over there. But I'm gonna do it anyway. So this is battle number seven. We are almost there. Ace Trainer Skylar and Ace Trainer Natasha. Okay. Every time I hear Skylar, I think of Skylark. Chip Skylark, remember Chip Skylark? The shiny teeth that twinkle just like the... What was it? Stars in space? Stars in space. Shiny teeth that... I don't know. Shiny teeth and me. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll stop. I know I suck at singing. No, but seriously, it was really funny always hearing that, you know? Like, god damn it. Alright, so here's a Dunsparth, which is an absolute trash Pokemon that I wish would actually have an evolution. Like, seriously. Into, like, this crazy dragon. Because it's like a... It's supposed to be like a... Like a larva stage dragonfly or something? I don't know. I think that's what I... That's what I always thought, but I might be very wrong. Not entirely sure. Level 80 for Yasiel. Oh my god. Aqua Tail. You are not learning the fucking Aqua Tail, dude. That is a physical move. That's 90 power, 90 accuracy. It is just not good. It's not. Rampardos, okay. Hmm. And Marowak. This is a surf here that's going to be able to take care of both of you in one surf. My gosh. But yeah, can y'all can y'all can you all believe that we're near the end? Um, this episode is not going to be the last one because there's still a lot of battles when it comes to the whole Marlene segment that I want to do as well. But I think the next episode is going to be the last episode of this series. I'm pretty sure. Like, I do believe so. If I'm being perfectly honest here. Alright, so there's Marowak down. That's cool, right? You're down. Alright, how many more Pokemon y'all got? 
Scyther. Oh my gosh, Scyther. Alright, you know what? Let's use a different move for once. Let's do a Thunderbolt, which is super effective on this bug flying. Alright, there's a Thunderbolt, and that's it. Yeah, I always thought Scyther was really cool. It's like a Mantis, you know? Scizor is even cooler, if you ask me, but... Its typing is also really cool when it comes to being a bug steel, you know? Alright, so that's it there. I'm gonna run west, the only way that we can go to. Okay. And over here, let me just make sure anything, there is not, there is a final double battle. Yes, the final one. And after this, um, I, yeah, we're basically gonna be at the very end. Dragon Tamer Drake and Black Belt Jarrett. Alright, so we got four Pokemon. Go ahead and do a Surf. Uh, that's neutral on both. Rebrav is actually a Dragon Ground. Um, I don't think I mentioned that before, but it evolves from Trap Inch. That's just a pure Ground type. Alright, so there's Clay Dog going down. Down and out hard. Okay. Then Vibrava going down. And then finally, Machamp. Okay. That's it. Dragonair. Hmm. I'm gonna Dragon Pulse you. Luckily it's only you, but if you had another partner, oh man, you would have survived the Surf. You definitely would have. And the very last one is a Seedra. This one can just be Thunderbolted or, I mean, I guess... I guess Dragon Pulse works fine too. I'm just gonna do Dragon Pulse, that's okay. All right, and that's the very last trainers, last set of trainers in Stark Mountain. That's it. So, I'm trying to think here. Oh yeah, okay, because one thing I better not forget is that I actually have to come back into Stark Mountain. Once Bug actually leaves completely, um, the big thing that I need to do is get four, there's four, oh yeah, it's not that way. There's four different items that I can actually obtain uh, once Buck leaves me because they involve rock climbing. Uh, but first, I need to just run all the way through. Another Max Repel, here we go. Okay, so I don't think there's anything over here, but let me just make sure. There's not, okay. I'm gonna run down. Anything on the left? No, there's not. Just gonna have to push this boulder all the way through. And then we're here. And that's it. There we go, there's the exit. <laughs> See you around. And that's it. And there's nothing there. I'm just gonna enter this cave and we will actually see here. Okay, well. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, whatever, dude. Take care, take care. Alright, um, I don't think there's anything over here. No, there's not. Okay, so now it's time to go ahead and grab all these um, different items that I've been talking about. So basically, the good thing here is that I can just put my bike on. Um, so, as far as the items to get, the, the very first one is actually going to be... Oh, shit. I think it's... Oh, you know what? I can just take this one here? Well, I mean, technically, yes. Sure. I believe it'll work, because if I rock climb down here... 
This is the first section I'm talking about, right up here. So this place was uh, previously uh, nearly impossible, actually completely impossible to get to. Um, there's an Ultra Ball right there, but that was the item, basically. Yeah, you, you can't get up here when you have Buck with you. Okay, so that's one item. The second item, uh, I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take this pathway up here, because, um, actually, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break this. Because this here is this, the point that's gonna let, oh my god, really? Okay. Hold on. Let's use this max repel, sure. Now we're gonna go like this and make a harsh right right here, and then go down this place. Alright, so this over here leads to a max elixir item. Okay, now over here, I'm trying to see, okay, now I have to go the other way around if I want to get at that side. So I have to go like this, right here, into this very corner that you may remember. There's actually an item over here. Let me check uh, this side too, nothing there, okay. This item here. This is a nugget. That's the third one. And the fourth and final one, this one was actually previously blocked off. This one you can get it with Buck, but you have to like zone out. Actually, I don't know, because you have to zone out and zone back in, but because you have to reset the positions of the trainers because they block either here. But basically the item is right here. It's an iron. And that's actually it. Uh, so because we got every single item here in Stark Mountain, I'm gonna escape rope. Then I'm gonna fly. I think. Um, okay. I think if I go to the fight area, one of... I don't even know where the hell it is, to be honest, but it's one of, um... One of these houses belongs to, to Buck. I just don't know which one, to be honest, but I guess I can figure it out, right? Shouldn't be bad. Shouldn't be that bad. Okay, it's not that one. Where the fuck is this guy? Is he not in here? Maybe I'm tripping. There's only two houses. Um, Maybe it's actually in the survival area, if I'm remembering correctly. It's not the house at the bottom, because that's the one that gave me that TM facade. So I'm not going to even mess with that shit, but I think... Dude, I could have sworn that one of these houses belonged to him. Does it not? Aha! There we go, now he's going to go put it back himself. <laughs> okay. So upon doing that, and now this is kind of what's going to suck a little bit. We have to go all the way back over there, and it, it's such a pain in the ass. I mean, luckily, we can just max repel our way through, and luckily, there's no, um, there's no battles anymore, so that's definitely good. But I'm gonna try to just do this as fast as possible, of course. Uh, with my bike, just rock climbing, breezing through, you know, with this bicycle. There's a lot of rock climbing involved, that's for sure. Okay, and then I'll take uh, this one here. Okay, so that's it for this first section. Second section involves water. Yeah, because this is honestly the shortest place, you know, to be able to, like, the shortest route, I guess, I should say. Um, over there, you would you'd basically fly here to the survival area, and then you go from here, right? Because there's no other, there's no better, faster way through. Then we gotta go here. Okay. Then we gotta use the bike there. We're going down. Be careful here. Don't get too crazy, you know. Don't go too fast. Okay. Now we're gonna use another max repel because we ended literally right on grass, knowing our luck, right? Okay. And then Stark Mountain is actually right here. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and break this thing. So yeah, so sadly we do have to kind of get through this place a little bit with all these strange stuff here, but luckily there's not too much to do. 
In fact, the first room might actually take longer than the second room, because the second room is just... If you know the pathway, you can just kind of breeze your way through it really easily. Okay, just like that, and over here, all the way through. Push that boulder. We gotta run like this, and now there's another rock smash. Oh my god. So much shit, man, just to get through. I'm trying to get through. What the hell are you still doing here? Okay, whatever. I, what the hell? I thought he would be gone by now, but no, he's still there. Um, Alright, so anyway, I'm gonna... Oh, shit. I gotta use one more max repel. Alright, so we're gonna break this rock smash thing here. The, the fastest way to get there is just to, go, to cut straight through like this. Make a left on these stairs, go up, and then rock climb here. That is by far the fastest way that you can get through back up to the very top. Here's the cave again. And upon coming back here, you'll actually see Heatran. Another legendary Pokemon, one of the few legendaries that actually has a gender. Very strange, indeed. But yeah, here's Heatran. Uh, it's at level 70. It's a Fire Steel. It is an insanely interesting type, in my opinion. Way better than, like, Fire Rock. Or even Fire Ground. I mean, Fire Ground is still... I don't know, is this type quadruple fire weakness, you know? Um, fire Steel does have a quadruple weakness to Ground, that's for sure. Um, but regardless, I don't know, people usually consider it a more unique typing. Again, you want to save before and try to capture it if you would like to keep this file permanently and, you know, try to do everything. I'm just showing off the Pokemon, the battle, that's it. And that's it. That's how you get access to another Legendary. Gonna go ahead and- oh, I can't escape rope here, are you serious? Okay, I have to go back one spot, huh? Yeah, sometimes the game is weird about that. It doesn't let you escape rope in certain rooms of dungeons. I don't know why that is, but... okay. And there we go. So now, you may be thinking, what's left? I did everything in the game. Actually, no, there's still another section to complete. And that is by flying back to the Pokemon League. Because we have to, yeah, make sure to go to the Pokemon League itself, because, um... Um, you'll actually be... Going into a little area... That has... That it's it's basically very far into... The, um, the, po the, the Victory Road area, so that's why it makes more sense... To enter from this side, as opposed to the other side. That's why. Alright, anyway, we're gonna enter here. Let's see if I remember this. I mean, it's not too complicated. It's basically that cave on the right side that you see over there. Right over there. So that one there... Um, the way that you get over there... Try to remember this, just like this. Go like that, like that, and there we go. Okay. Any... any items? Any secret items here that I should be aware of? Nope. Just gonna go through. Oh my god, look at this whole defog stuff here. Here's another partner. Oh, it's Marley. I kept saying Marlene. Whoops. Okay, we're gonna defog. I mean, you don't need defog, but it definitely helps a lot to do this. So I will for sure do it. Um, you can surf in this area, but not when you have a partner. Which means we gotta get through it the old-fashioned way first, then we can come back and later explore, you know? What is this place called again? Does it tell me here? No, right. It just says Victory Road. Okay. It's just the new section of Victory Road, apparently. Alright, so Marley has an Arcanine as her partner, another Pokemon that's weak to Surf. Go figure, right? Um... Yeah, so... Just to series of double battles here, I mean, I mean, I'm pretty sure by this point you're tired of double battles, right? But, um... There's not really much I can do about that, honestly. But I think this place is overall not as confusing as Stark Mountain. At least it shouldn't be. But... We'll see. Six Pokemon- oh my god. Jesus Christ, okay. What level are these, by the way? 54, 54, okay. Well, um, this is gonna survive. Oh yeah, oh, and Intimidate also slows down battles too, because literally every battle just happens. But, okay. I'm gonna do a Surf to try to get this double kill, but I... Oh, there's no there's no freaking way. This Bibarro's gonna survive. It resists. 
Right? Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm level 80. I mean, Barl has... It's a pretty shitty Pokemon, so it might be possible to just kill it. I really hope so. Okay. There's Arcanine going down. Yeah, I'm going to be killing Arcanine literally every battle as well, because, you know... Why the hell not, right? I already did that to freaking... Oh my god, what's that girl's name? Oh my god, I'm totally... Mira, Mira, that's right. I did it to Mira. I did it to freaking Riley. I did it to Buck. So why not do it to Marley? You know, the only one that I treated well was Cheryl, I guess. I didn't kill her Pokemon literally every battle. And by the way, I did kill to Bivaro. Rapidash. Okay, wait. Do we not see Pokemon outside of the Sinnoh decks in here? Okay, so far I haven't seen it. Why do you have a freaking another water type? Oh my god, you're so annoying. Alright, let's get to Surf. We gotta hurry this up. Surf. I'm trying to do as many battles as possible so I can simplify the next episode, you know? Because I'm pretty sure the next episode's gonna be the very last one. I do believe so. And I want to record it today, too, because you know, if I'm already di here doing this, might as well just do it, right? Like, seriously. Yeah, so Zoomer will survive, that makes sense. Um, double Edge, it's gonna, gonna take some recoil damage from that. Barely anything, though. And we got a Beautifly. Okay, so this will be a double kill. Okay, so so far these trainers have not used a single new Pokemon. Am I going to assume that this cave only has Pokemon that are not native. I mean, aside from the Arcanine, of course. The Arcanine definitely is not native to the Sinnoh Pokedex, but at least the trainer Pokemon's like, what the heck? Hmm. Okay, another double kill. Let's see. 1863. Now you're at 81. Oh my gosh. Blissey. Alright, well I know what I'm doing here. I'm gonna have to do a strange because Blissey is a freaking special tank. A crazy special tank. Let's see if this kills. I mean, Blissey is better than Chansey, obviously. A little more HP, a little more defense, you know, but Blissey has a massive... I mean, massive HP stat. It is ridiculous. 2950 experience, my god. That is ridiculous, in such a good way. Alright, well I beat these Ace Trainers that were actually kind of a challenge, because they had a shit ton of Pokemon here. Um, oh my god. Where do I even go? Okay, also, are there, is there anything here? Any any secret items that I should be aware of? No? Okay, just, just making sure, you know. Alright, now we got some Psychic Trainers here. Okay. Here we go. We got a Mr. Mine and a Kadabra. Okay, uh, so once again, my theory is kind of standing correct here where I'm saying that I'm um, literally not seeing any new Pokemon aside from the Arcanine. Huh. That's very weird why they did that. All right, well, let's surf, of course. Yeah, so one thing I haven't mentioned is that Arcanine, of course, has his priority moves that he can occasionally use sometimes. Yes, keywords sometimes. Definitely not always, but you know. You know. Anyway, this area, I don't think I mentioned this, but there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven double battles here. And I'm hoping to do at least, like, you know, four or something like that. In this video, this is number. Uh, or sorry, no, no, doing three, my bad. I'll do three in this video, because this is battle number um, two only. 
but yeah, we'll see, right? We'll see. Now, just by looking at the, um, at the map of this place, um, and also even just from memory, because it's starting to ring a bell here, the, a lot of the surfing spots don't exactly take you to, like, different items and stuff from, from what I'm seeing. It's a little interesting. Alright, I'll just, um, I'll do this battle now that I just see these people. So this is battle number three. Okay. Black Belt Eddie and Veteran Terrell. 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 I think it's Terrell. Pretty sure. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and do... Oh yeah, I forgot to intimidate, of course. It's always just, you know, wasting time here in the beginning. Alright, let's do this. We're gonna go ahead and do this. Surf. Surf, everybody. That's right. Did y'all ever watch that movie called Surf's Up? About that penguin guy? You know, that about penguins that were like surf and shit, and there was like this tournament, and this one legend guy lost his reputation or something like that, and then he was just... He made his own home somewhere super far away, and I don't even remember that, but... Like, all the specifics, but something like that. I remember watching it, and then... I just quickly forgot about it like a year later, like the specific plot line, but I just remember key stuff, like I just said right now. You know, but... Anyway, this is one. This one's gonna be another, um, you know, another double double kill here, for sure. We got a, we got him a champ in here. Okay. Quagsire and Machamp. Time for another surf. Okay. I mean, I'm still only at 27 minutes, but I think there's still another Pokemon, right? Another whole round. Pretty sure. They're 23.98, 15.84. Okay, we got oh a Gengar. Yeah, but as you can see, none of the trainers here actually have new Pokemon, which is which I find very odd. Like I keep saying, I find that incredibly odd. Okay, it's not a big deal. But I know on the other side of the cave, once Marley leaves us, I will definitely start seeing some new Pokemon. That's for sure. Even though that side of the cave is not actually very long, it's definitely not. Alright, um, before I get those items, I'm just gonna, you know what? Let's do this battle too. It's actually number four, so it's gonna leave with only three double battles for the next episode, plus getting a bunch of items too, so... I mean, I think we can do this, we're at 28 minutes, so... How many are you gonna have? Alright. So that's, that's four Pokemon, uh, that's gonna be two full rounds, so it shouldn't take that long, honestly. The first round usually takes the longest, I mean, the whole beginning, you know, because Arcanine's Intimidate, um, Palkia's Pressure, Surf hits three targets as opposed to two, you know, so all those things just take more and more time. Oh, and then sometimes Arcanine uses Helping Hand or Extreme Speed, you know? Okay, so Helping Hand is definitely going to kill everybody here, because I just got buffed up by 50%. Alright, so Arcanine down, then goodbye to Murkrow, and yeah, it'll be a perfect time to end the episode, so we got three battles left in the next one, um, plus a bunch of items to gather, of course, everywhere. But yeah, I mean, that's gonna be, that's about it, right? When it comes to explaining what the hell we're gonna do, next episode is definitely gonna be the finale, that's for sure. Oh, who's here? Honchkrow? Are we gonna have a Garchomp? Oh my god, let's see. There's no way, right? No, it's a Gyarados. Alright, um... 
I'm gonna do a Surf still so I can knock out that Haunch Crow. It's definitely not gonna kill the Gyarados, there's no way, unless I crit it. If I can crit it, that'd be great. But, let's see. Okay. Oh, look at that. Level 82. Nice. <laughs> Dragon Dance. That's actually a good move to use. It's a, it's a good move to buff up your stats. Raise a speed and attack by one stage. I'm gonna go ahead and do this Thunderbolt. Alright, perfect time to end the episode here. Like I keep saying, um, yeah, guess I'll just go to the left and grab those items and then call it an episode. Because I did technically miss that stuff over there. Alright, um, so, yeah, right over here. These right here. Oh, I think I can only grab, oh shit, I can only grab one, okay. <laughs> I'll have to come back for the other one, huh? And I, I have to like zone out and zone back in. There's an elixir, I guess I'll take that one. That'll be for next time, then. Other than that, that's basically it here. There's also an item up there, I believe. Yeah, you can only grab that through Surf, though. Alright, so um, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day.